out for another bug out adventure. This time I am heading to the lake. I'm gonna do a lake traverse. Um, it's the same eight mile trail I did on my last bug out video, bug out bag video. Um, I'm doing this solo and I have a survival um, watercraft or flotation device. It's an inner tube and a pack paddle. And I'm gonna use it to carry me and my stuff across the lake, uh, cutting off six miles uh, of the trail and uh, end up back at my usual bug out camp. Um, it is gonna be very wet, not just because of the lake, but it's forecasted rain the whole evening throughout the night. So I'm going to be wet jumping in the lake and then I'm going to be uh, I'm going to stay wet because of the rain. So this is going to be a real challenge. I've got my bug out bag right there. You can see my gear. Very minimal, very lightweight. This is the middle of summer so I don't have to pack a lot of heavy stuff. Uh, but just taking the gear to shoot this video alone is uh, a lot of extra weight. But I think I'm right about 22 to 25 pounds including water. Uh, so that's not too bad. I'm happy with that. Um, so stick with me and let's see what happens. Here's a nice partially dry spot. Oh wait, there's an overhang. Let's go to it. Somebody's camped there, but I just need somewhere 
dry. I notice I had my pack on. The reason I needed the float was to carry this gear and keep it dry and keep it out of the water, keep myself and it out of the water. Uh, I did not tighten it up so if something went wrong, terribly wrong, I could bail out of it, lose my gear, but uh, I didn't see that happening. But it didn't, it was good. I got a new bag. This is a Midway, about 40 liters. Not bad. And that is my new Boba Fett patch that my friend Kenny from KBB Jedi gave me. This is a cool little setup. It'd be perfect for a night like tonight. Although it looks a little wet underneath there. I guess the rain runs down the hill. My pants are wet and cold. I'm gonna have to get to camp and get a fire going. I purposely did not bring another pair of pants and I purposely uh, wore them in the lake so that I had to dry them. Uh, just another test. Just one trying to test myself and see what I can do. Real quick, before it gets too dark to shoot this video, or shoot this, I'm gonna show you the loadout I got. You saw the Maxpedition pouch? The watercraft in it? Float tube, whatever you wanna call it. My heavy cover canteen. With my heavy cover cup and lid inside. And, like I said, the Midway 40 liter backpack. I saw your squeeze and deep woods off. I'm gonna reapply some of that right now. There's my dry bag for my camera. Mountain house, of course. Two servings, so we're gonna do um, one tonight and one serving in the morning. Juke twine. Memora, robust. And ferro rod. Let's see. Oh, I got a special surprise. This is another one of those gifts. Ah, Oppenel. This is a gift from my buddy, KBB Jetta. He sent me this and a bunch of other stuff. I'm excited to have the Oppenel. I'll try it out. Add Tokes, Spork. 
some more cordage. Like I said, it's pretty lightweight. I didn't pack a whole lot. This is just a just a quick bug out bag I had ready. And honestly, I went on in last moment's notice. A lot of stuff was going on with family. And I didn't think I was going to have a chance to, to get out. But I always have my gear packed and ready to go. All right, the main compartment. Now this has a lot of, see that, a lot of pockets on it, a lot of pockets. But I had to put everything in uh, dry containers, you know, to see if it's going to be this pack basically. Actually, it stayed dry inside. There's another one. It's got my, my uh, survival kit, batteries for my charging for my phone because that's what I'm using to shoot video. And the stove, everything I, I need to keep dry. I need to keep this stuff dry. There's that. There's that. And then the big dry bag. I had all my extra clothes, like socks and underwear, concealed carry. It's a 380. Um, Smith & Wesson, well, M&P, 380 Bodyguard. Back with the free soldier. I'm gonna put it up first. And as I go through here, I don't wanna get it all out because I wanna get it all wet. Let's put up the tarp and get this under cover and then we'll shoot some more video. So I don't wanna get everything wet. So what we'll do is we'll set up the tarp next and then I'll show you what the rest of the contents of the dry bag. That way we can do it under shelter. And oh yeah, my neck knife. That's another, this is another part of the, um, I'm gonna put up a picture, aren't I? So here you go, so here's the picture of everything Kenny sent me. Um, follow his Instagram. Look at all that stuff, it's awesome. If you don't follow him on Instagram, he is top notch. His Instagram is just, it's awesome, I love it. I, I love Instagram too, I do a lot of stuff on Instagram when I can't do YouTube. It has just been, it's been one crazy summer. So that's why I haven't done a whole lot of videos this year. Uh, maybe next year, hopefully next year, we'll do a lot more. I'm hoping to really um, take it to the next level. So, thanks for watching. I always appreciate my viewers and my comments and my thumbs up. Don't forget to like. So I'm gonna set you down. I'm gonna set you down here and then we'll set up the tarp. Nice clean cut. Very nice. It's got a lock collar on it. Just twist that around, close it back, and lock it back. 
a very simple design, but very effective. Some of you may have noticed I've got my neck knife backwards. I was afraid I didn't want to lose it in the lake, but I just tied a real loose knot, square knot, and I'm going to tie that. And put it around. I'm going to tie it and put it around the, uh, the sheath like it's supposed to go. That way you can take the knife out when you need it. I don't know if you guys noticed that or not, but some of you may have. So before you leave a comment, a nasty gram, you're wearing your knife wrong. I know. I'm fixing it now. I guess you can really wear it any way you're, you want to, but this is the way it's supposed to go. Or at least that's my understanding. I guess when you're out here in the woods doing bushcraft and survival, this is more survival type stuff but when you're out here doing this there's really no wrong way to do it unless you screw up and it doesn't work but if it's working who cares right and if you're having fun this is one of those condor neck knives neck knife it's pretty cool hmm. it's good for cutting cordage and stuff like that so I'm going to tie some Perfect knots on these. I think I get into cover. It's to really game. Hard to shoot video and do all this at the same time. Okay. Starting to lose my light for videoing. rain plays tricks on you. I keep hearing stuff. I know it's the rain, but... I mean, I'm not worried about it. I just don't want to be... There's a lot of people out today, and I don't want to be sneaking up on them. Cut a notch in the stake and I'm gonna pin that to the ground. There we go. You can see that burning. Took a while. So 
but now we got our fire going even though we have <clears throat> a heavy rain we still got a fire there's our rain collector slowly filling up all right let me show you what's in the uh, rest of the bag here I promised you I'd show you so inside the our bag we've got a climate this is new I just got this and then got some clothes and towel another little tarp it's a little cheapy Walmart tarp for a ground tarp and a bivy sack the bivy tent so I'm gonna have to find a green limb a good flexible limb and cut it to fit for the uh, head that to keep me from to keep it from laying on my head the bug net from laying on my head and my uh, reactor thermolite uh, sea to summit and a pillow that's it and that that's what was in the dry bag and as you can see it really did keep everything dry that big water that big water traverse I managed to stay dry, or my gear managed to stay dry. Even the backpack, inside the backpack, stayed dry. I was pretty impressed with that. So, um, the Maxpedition bag, it stayed dry. Yeah, I'm happy. It's pretty cool for crossing a lake or crossing a creek or um, any kind of water that you know that you can keep your your stuff dry. Now I just got to dry off my pants. So good. There it is. How about that? You can see this. It worked. So there it is. There's my bug net. It's perfect. That's awesome. I have to say the bivy tent turned out better than I expected. I want to focus. There we go. I'm super excited about that. And let's give you a peek inside. There's inside. There's my climates, climate pad and my sleeping bag and a little pillow. Where'd it go? There it is. A little pillow. I'm ready for bed. But it's very, very cozy. And that little fire is actually putting off some heat. Dry my hat and I'm gonna dry my pants. So, check that out. Huh, overflowing. Awesome. Let's try this again. I'm having a terrible time with my audio. And I don't know if it's uh, the direction of the mics or what it is, but anyway, I'm going to call it a night. Um, I really enjoyed the bug out raft. I'm gonna fix the mountain house. You see the uh, water boiling in the background there And we'll see you in the morning. Thanks for coming along
So what did we take away from this experience? Well, when I really liked the raft. The bug out raft was a great idea. It worked really well. Um, it, it folded up nicely, packed away nicely. It wasn't very heavy. I haven't weighed it, weighed it yet, but I'm guessing maybe three pounds with the paddle and everything. So real happy with that. Two, keep your clothes dry. Use that dry bag to keep everything you want dry, dry. Because when it's raining, pouring the rain, and you're struggling to keep a fire going, it's hard as heck to dry out your clothes. I got on wet pants today. Uh, well, they're damp, they're not really wet, but they're, they're damp when I could have had dry clothes this morning. Shirt's dry, uh, everything else, socks, boots, everything's dry, but I wanted to see if I could dry out the pants. Didn't really work. So, keep everything that you really want or really need dry in the dry bag. Um, the tarp is a great survival bug out bushcraft shelter. Tarp is so versatile. Um, I collected rainwater off of it for drinking. I used it, I've used it in so many different configurations. If you've seen some of my other videos, um, it's just so versatile. I can't, I can't put enough emphasis on a good tarp or a good poncho and the way you can use it as a shelter. Now, I used the bivy um, tent, the bivy tent this time. It was okay. Um, I think I liked the, would have liked the bug net better. So, uh, it's been a really good experience. I'm glad I did it. I've really enjoyed getting out. I always do. I love trying out the gear. Take your bug out bag or your, or your pack, whatever. Get out in the woods. Go train. Go do it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a good experience. You learn so much. I'm doing things now that I couldn't have done years ago, like getting the fire going really well in the rain. I mean, while it was raining, um, you know, setting up your shelter in the dark and not having any problems, knowing where everything goes, where to tie it off, no matter what the configuration, you understand how it works. So get out there and do it. You know, don't just pack your bag and, and set it in the corner. Get out there and train with it. Get out there and, and spend some time with your, with your backpack, your bug out bag, your gear, get to know it, and you'll, you'll find you'll like it. Not just the process of building that bug out bag, but having it and using it is just a, it brings so much more to the game. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Maybe it was helpful. Uh, hopefully it was entertaining, and we'll see you next time.